In today's video, I'm going to be showing you one of my best selling plants, one of my easiest to propagate plants, and a plant that every backyard nursery needs to have, and that is the thornless blackberry. Growing along this fence here, you can see these blackberries. I'll show you a closer up look in just a second, but they are an amazing plant. I don't think they could be any easier to grow, and you can always find people who are looking to grow their own food, and blackberries are a common plant that people love, and a thornless variety like the triple crown blackberry that I'm going to show you today is a can't miss plant for the backyard grower. Let's have a look at how to propagate this plant. If you're new to my channel, it's good to see you. If you're not, it's good to see you again. But either way, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you on board here and to let you know when all my new content comes out, hit the like and subscribe buttons below and the notifications bell and you'll be good to go. Thank you so much. Now this is a closer look at my blackberries, triple crown thornless blackberries growing here on my back fence. And it has just come in the last hour, a very heavy rain. So everything is wet and dripping, but I just wanna show you these plants and these berries, how big they are, how beautiful they are. And you can just see, they're just beginning to some of them come right. And there they are just growing down the fence. I mean, just thousands and thousands of berries that'll be ripe in the next week to two weeks coming back this way you can see just a couple of plants here these things extend about 25 feet end to end and this all started with two plants about two years ago so they're really a vigorous awesome fast growing plant one of the great things about the triple crown blackberry like any blackberry variety is you can propagate them with near 100 percent success and you can have a plant that is ready to sell literally within weeks of the beginning of propagation. Most of the plants that we propagate in a backyard nursery, we propagate them this year. In other words, we root them this year and then we sell them next year or the next year. So they're at least a one year, usually a two year process. That's most of the plants that I deal with, but the blackberry plant can be propagated. In fact, the one that I'm gonna show you in just a minute, I can propagate it beginning today and have a plant ready to sell in about eight weeks, maybe 12 weeks at the most, but they are a can't miss plant as far as having something productive to do in your yard that you can propagate. They overwinter really well in pots, so you don't have to worry about them dying on you over the winter. They always come back in the spring. Somebody's always willing to buy blackberry plants. They're always looking to start a U-pick or to put a couple of them on their back fence like I have here or to start a blackberry patch as a part of their garden. And people love these thornless blackberries so they don't tear their hands up trying to pick them. And these blackberries, the triple crown in particular, it's extremely vigorous. They're noted for their vigor, for their flavor, and for their hardiness. So they're extraordinarily tough. You just can't really go wrong with these in your backyard nursery. As for propagating the triple crown blackberry, like any blackberry, it's almost silly how easy it is to do this. And if there's any plant in all of the plant world that's essentially foolproof when it comes to propagation, the blackberry is your plant. Have a look at this. As you may or may not know, blackberries, blackberry plants grow these long runners like this and they're called canes and you can see each one of those marks on that black mat is a foot wide so you can see that one's several feet long just right there alone and this particular plant that I have here growing on my back fence has these runners these canes everywhere there's one there's one there's one there's another one there's another one there's probably eight or ten of them right down there if you just kind of look around, you see these tips everywhere. You see them high, you see them low. They're going everywhere you look. And what we're gonna do is take these canes and stick them in a pot of potting soil, just like this. Now, just to demonstrate this, I have a pot of potting soil here that's maybe halfway full. And don't worry about that. It could have very little in it, or it can be more full than that. This is just the way I do it. But I filled this up about halfway with potting soil. And here, I have one of these long canes that I'm gonna take and I'm gonna just stick the end of it right down in that pot. And all you do is just take the end of it and just stick it down in there. Let me move this over a little. All you're gonna do is take the end of that long cane and stick it down in that pot. You can bend the bottom of it over a little as you stick it down in there. And you're just gonna take some potting soil and fill that pot up. I mean, you're literally just burying the tip is all you're doing. You can start with a full pot of potting soil, poke a hole in it, and just stick the tip down in that hole and compact the potting soil around it so it will stay. 
But this is all you do, and I'm telling you, this is completely foolproof. This is not something that works sometime. Good luck, maybe it'll work. This is something that will work 100% of the time on a healthy plant to make another healthy plant. And in the last couple of hours, And you just want to come along every few days and make sure that that stays moist. You don't need to do it every day and you don't have to watch this like a hawk. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to sit here is all it's going to do. But just make sure that it stays moist in the course of its days propagating and you'll have no problem with these. And all you want to do is leave this here. Now this will root very quickly and probably in a week's time it will begin putting on roots and you need to just leave it alone for at least a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, and then you'll start seeing some new growth come out from under this leaf or under this leaf or under this leaf. You'll start seeing new growth come out from under there. And when you do, you're just going to take your clippers, let's just say it's here at this leaf, and just cut above there, and that will be the beginning of your new plant. And in just a few weeks, a new shoot will emerge from down here from your new root growth that will come up and that will really be your next cane that's going to take off and be the basis of your new plant. When you start seeing that new plant emerge from down here, that means your pot's filling in nicely with roots. It means that your plant is doing what it's supposed to do. Your new baby plant's well on its way and you're going to be able to sell it really soon after that. So just give it a few weeks, maybe put a little bit of slow release fertilizer on it and it's going to be ready to go in very, very, very short order. And here is an example of a triple crown blackberry plant that I propagated last year and I propagate more off of them. I can take that cane there and stick it down into a pot. You can take that cane there and stick it down into a pot and you can stick them into much smaller pots. You don't have to use pots as large as these. These are those trade gallon pots that I use for most things but when I do a bunch of them I'll stick them in smaller pots. I'll stick them in smaller pots like these and you can see there's four of them here. Four pots sitting here in this little uh, tray where four tips came together and I just stuck all of them down in smaller pots. All I need them to do there is root. Once they root, start putting on the new plant, I'll cut them loose, I'll repot them into larger pots, and in just a matter of weeks, they are ready to go home with somebody else. So I don't like to make a lot of guarantees because almost everything is destined to fail on some level or at least there's a possibility that almost anything can fail. But propagating blackberries like I'm showing you is literally a can't fail way to propagate them. There are other ways to propagate blackberries where you can do a lot more, maybe not faster, but you can do hundreds and hundreds at a time instead of just, you know, 10 or 20 at a time. But the thing is, I keep this propagation process going all summer long. I've just started it in the last couple of weeks and I'll cut these loose and then I'll move on and put more and more and more. And I'll probably get at least 50 blackberries off of this patch here, off of this, these couple of plants here that I've shown you, at least 50 or more if I want them. I can probably get a lot more than that. I don't need more than that. But I wanted to just show you this today to just show you how easy blackberry plants are to propagate, how easy you can be successful with them, how quickly you can be successful with them, and if they truly are a can't miss plant for the backyard grower. That will be it for you today. I hope all of you watching are doing well. I hope you've learned something today and that maybe the blackberry will be a plant that piques your interest and help you understand that it can be a great plant in your backyard nursery. It's one of my three favorites. And here's a link to the video that shows you three plants you can start your backyard nursery with. The triple crown blackberry is one of those plants. I hope all of you are having a great day. I love all of you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.